So Meredith, so um, tell me about the course today. It's a brand new course here at Louisville. Yeah, or, it was or Louisville. Yeah. Or Louisville. <laughs> Louisville. Um, yeah, we read it this morning and we just had big smiles on our faces the whole way around. Cause we're like, oh, this is a cool feature, and then we get to another feature, and it was like, wow, this is. The thing about this course that I think separates it from a lot of typical American courses is that it, it is more wide open and the turns are more sweeping instead of the 180 after another after another. And um, it, it has a lot of cool features like you know a few uh, steep run-ups or ride-ups and some drop-ins and a huge sand pit, which will be interesting to see how that goes tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and some nice uh, technical sections through the woods too. And so it's got a little of everything. That's, so what do you find difficult? Well, I've only done one lap, so it's a little hard to say yet. Okay. But definitely, you know, some of the steep run-ups are going to get hard that, you know, when you're riding them and when you're just warming up, you know, they don't seem so bad. But after five, six laps or something <laughs> like that, they might get a little bit tougher. The sand, of course, is going to be hard. It'd be one of those things. We have a pretty fast run into it, so you're just going to have to ride as far as you can go. And then, yeah. uh, I, saw some piece, and I saw some people end those already today. Oh, really? The sand, well, there you say. go. So that might be a tough part, yeah. And the last one, I know you're going to go pre-ride. So what are you looking for in your pre-ride? Well, just getting a good feel for the course, um, figuring out the flow, um, you know, like I said, with this, some of the steep run-ups, figuring out whether or not it's going to be worth trying to ride them or just getting off, you know, just mounting at the bottom yeah. and, and running them from the very beginning. Um, just figuring out some of the good lines through the sections that run through the woods. Uh, when we read it this morning, it was a little bit sandy and loose. So just, you know, getting a good feel for those areas. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Jeff, so, so tell me about the course. Um, you, you know, you previewed it today. So what do you think? It's summer here, and there's a nice beach, <laughs> which is where I'm going to attack Ryan because he looked like he was really struggling in the sand pit today. Were you struggling in the sand pit today? No, I, well, it's, I don't know, it's, there's no line through it, so it's kind of hard to make it like, all the way across. So, But I don't think it's a disadvantage to get off and run, you know, 20 meters versus grinding it out and, you know, hmm. potentially making it. All right, so I take it Jeff was riding at the... Yeah, my feet didn't touch the sand today. All right. <laughs> so, so tell me about the course, though. How, you know, where, where are the difficult sections out there? Well, there's a bunch. There's some elevation, and you just run straight into it. So there's three or four just humps. you got to kind of hump grind over the top, and that's probably where the selections are going to be made. It's kind of a bit of a... Got the flat field, and it's kind of linked up both sides. There's a few little technical sections on either side, but... Most the elevation is up by the road, steep kind of yeah. humps you really got to grind over. Yeah, there's some pretty, st there's two steep run-ups up there. Yeah, and there's, well, one run-up for us. Yeah. But there's also oh. some, some turf, which makes it kind of yeah. soft, kind of like Vegas. So what are you looking for, you know, when you provide a course, especially a new course like this? Most of the places that I'm going to sit on, Ryan. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to brake check them over top of the humps, the last lap. The last lap, okay, that, yeah. this, that's where it's going to happen? Uh, that's where uh, you're taking him? Yeah, sit on him and then brake check him over the last lap. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, so Ryan, what do you think? Oh, it's good. It's a little short right now. I think it needs to be, a, a, you know, about two minutes longer to make it like a, a world, the world's course, you know? They need to add some distance to it because it's pretty fast and uh, it's nice, so it's nice varied terrain, you know? It's not just a smooth, grassy park and... Uh, it's a lot of dirt right now, you know, there's not much, I think it's just been so dry that everything's, and it's going to get, continually get torn up. And yeah. It's really loose, and anything in the woods is really loose, and really, uh, you know, it's two, three inches of dust right now, so. It's going to be dusty like Cincinnati. Yeah, it is, and it's like everything, like, in the grass is nice, because, but once you get in the woods, man, it's just dirt, and it's yeah. really loose, and some tricky corners, but um, it doesn't feel too taxing, like, it's not a hard course to ride, it's just, I think once we start racing, all, all those little tiny like, yeah. 20 meter accelerations up the hills are going to wear on you a bit. And my last one, what are you looking for when you create a course like this, a brand new course? Just to see where, how, it, how it flows together, you know? Does it? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's not, um, yeah, it's actually it's really fast, you know? And it's the only sections that are harder when you're coming up over the, yeah. that little kind of dike over there and that's it, you know? And it doesn't, it's not, they're not hard to get up, it's just... The difference is like the person that can accelerate over the top and then mm. out onto the field, you know, make a selection. So. Is that where you're going to drop Jeff? <laughs> no, I think I'll drop him before we even get there. All right. <laughs> Thanks, so I know you only pre rolled it once, but tell me about the course. Um, well, half of it's flat and the other half is not. 
Um, but the, right. back, the back section in the woods, which we kind of duck in, in and out of a couple of times, was super technical, um, especially with the, like, the really dry, dusty ground. It's, it's really slippery, which is kind of cool. I think if it rains, it'd be like amazing, amazing mud. Um, but even so, it's, it's super technical. And what I love about the flow of the course is that it doesn't take super tight turns or super, like, tons of switchbacks or anything to make it technical, but there's fast corners that are already technical. It's gonna break it up just by the terrain that's here, which is really cool. It's not some park that they have to use course tape to make it hard, so. It's always nice when you actually have terrain to ride on. You think it's gonna break up early? Uh, no, actually, I think it, it'll be kind of groupy basing, if you will. <laughs> Um, I can t definitely see two to three to fours um, riding together because there are so many fast and flat sections, but it's one of those things where if you mess up one technical section, you'll lose a group and you'll never catch them again. Mm. But at the same time, if everyone's riding smooth, they could they could stay together a little bit. And yeah. You never know when one of these guys is going to take a flyer and just yeah. go off the front. Or you. I could. There you go. And what are you looking for when you pre-ride a course like this, a brand new course? Uh, just trying to figure out the flow, when the sections are where you can really go hard when you can rest and when you never you know what what parts I can use to my advantage so I only did one lap and I haven't figured mm -hmm. out exactly what parts I like best but I think I think there's a little bit of everything for everyone so it's it's a good it's a good mix and it's gonna obviously the best guy's gonna win. I think the strongest guy always wins in some of these courses. But yeah.